right welcome to friday stand up uh we are going to go quickly into our updates what have have we been working on uh yesterday and uh what are we planning to do today in regards to this week's challenges or projects that we are currently running so yeah let's start quickly with the people who are ready to share and as we always do everyone we get their time to share if you are not ready to speak also ensure that your data is in the chat box and if you have any blocker any support needed any point of discussion hopefully you raise it and then we use this time appropriately for that so welcome let's get started let's see like five people who are ready to share hello okay i i'm, I'm seeing already fenuel and yvonne and the aya great uh and rodolph amazing let's go like that yvonne uh the floor is yours uh, hello everyone and good morning so so far i have been working on the rug and also evaluating the the rug with ragas i am trying to use different kind of retrievers to see which one will improve my rug and make it work best i also am trying to find a good generator model for the generator parts a good generator llm every good generator llm that i get is kind of heavy and it it crashes my collab notebook it has it also crashes my um kagol notebook so i've just been trying to run both of the both collab and kagol hand in hand in parallel to see which llm can fit that position um so that that is actually my blocker the my blocker is um, the pros the instance yeah not yeah kind of instance because it tells me i run out of memory when i try to run a good llm and when i get another llm it tells me it is not used for that that's that task of generating so i go and search for another llm also so much time has been spent on that and i i hope by today maybe midday i will have solved that issue yeah that's from my side if anyone who know anyone has in mind a good decoder llm that is lightweight and can run on collab or kaggle or a lo or local host kindly um you can tell me yeah thank you okay thank you yvonne uh before we go to the next person does anyone know any light decoder even is that how you called it that you yes, can help yes on? yes yes that is open source yeah okay anyone anyone who has an idea anyone okay if there were if there is no one who has an idea or or before we proceed Yvonne do you mind repeating the question just in case someone missed it yeah I I, I asked if anyone knows a lightweight LLM that you can use for the generation part in the prompt if people don't understand what a decoder is the generation part in the prompt the LLM that you give your answer that is retrieved retrieved that and then that LLM now generates the answer for you and gives the user. That's what I'm talking about. If anyone knows an LLM that can fit on that part in the prompt that is lightweight and that is open source that won't crash either Collab or um, Kaggle or can run on local hosts, kindly you can tell me. That's what I am trying to ask i hope i am clear enough yeah, yeah you are anyone who wants to help and tina okay 
Yes, uh, can you hear me? Sorry, I'm on our side. I'm not using my, my computer, so can you hear me? I uh, know it's kind of foggy. Uh, okay. Right. Let me, um, so, okay, so I will, I will try later. I am Tinan. I can reach out to you to, in Slack if you can't speak right now. It's okay. I'll just reach out to you in Slack and we can discuss. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. You can reach out to her on Slack. All right. Uh, let's go next to Fenuel. Hi, Pascali. Can you hear me? Yes. Hi, Fenuel. We can. Okay. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, so uh, I've been trying different uh, chunking methods and trying out different uh, OpenAI embedding so far, but uh, I'm not getting uh, the expected results so far and that kind of frustrating in a way. Uh, I've been trying to, you know, test out the rag system with the question provided and trying to compare that with the ground truth answers, but uh it, it's not putting out the expected results and that is sort of a frustration that i'm facing currently but i'm still trying different things and i also implemented the ragas evaluation and i'm trying to see the results with that but uh it's a bit disappointing at this point but i'm gonna keep trying uh so that's my update for today All right, uh, Fenuel, there is a question for you in the chat box as well. Uh, I'm, I'm not really sure, Antina, uh, but I'm, I'm sort of experimenting. I mean, the chunk sizes may be also a factor to it. So I'm just trying different things. I mean, it, it replies some sort of a close uh, response to the answers but uh, it's not really a satisfactory level at this point all right okay uh can i add something on fanuel's question all right i already right, yeah. my hand uh yeah fanuel uh so you did the chunking and embedding and when you uh, query uh, you will get uh, different uh, responses right so usually what we do is we look at uh, the, the first response for a given query right so that might be not the most relevant uh, response that we get uh so it might not be the problem of the chunking or the embedding rather uh one thing we can do is we need to uh, re-rank those and get the uh, most out of it usually the the uh, the response that we get is not in the order of relevancy so have you tried that one maybe that that would help yeah thank you uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I get what you're saying, uh, but yeah. I haven't gotten to the part where the context uh, retrieval is the focus. So maybe when I get to that part, I might get a, a better result. So I'll let you know. Okay. Thank you for the suggestion. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, thanks for the discussion. So, AI, you can even continue with sharing your updates as well. Okay. Um, I think we are all in the same boat, like uh, Jovan. Uh, uh, yeah, we are still experimenting on the retrieval in the, the generation part. So, we can't get the, the right one <laughs> so far. Uh, so, still, I'm experimenting on the retrieval, I mean, the generated uh, LLMs, uh, but still, as you said, it's not kind of easy to get one which 
uh, smoothly runs on your local machine. Um, yeah, other than that, still we're experimenting. Uh, I hope we will get to the point where we can uh, use uh, a good LLM that will uh, work uh, locally. Uh, so that was about yesterday. Today, uh, I will have to start the, I had already started the evaluation, but I need to uh, choose the, the, the best that I can have and then uh, do the uh, evaluation of uh, the RAG model. Yeah, thank you. All right, keep it up, AIA. And then uh, let's move on to Alexander. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Alex. Okay, uh, yesterday I tried to generate and uh, re retrieve some parts of the document, uh, but uh, not uh, to the whole. I try in a simple part uh, only in this stage, uh, but my blocker is uh, as everyone says, the instance is my first blocker. I try it in Kola, I try it in uh, local, and uh, when it requires memory space and processor. So now finally I try to solve uh, using the another model. So yesterday I try to generate the rag part. Today uh, work on uh, building the whole pipeline, the rag pipeline, and try to evaluate it as much as possible. So I am in this stage regarding to my updates. Uh, maybe there is a if there is a and program today. I raise my issue. Uh, thank you. That is all. All right, Alex, keep it up with the progress. I can see we have also Carol and Rudolph in the chat box. Okay. I hope you know both. I hope you both managed to make progress today. Oh, Alex, did you have any question? Uh, regarding to the LLM, uh, I, I, I try to contact uh, another. I have not mm -hmm. uh, reformulated the question well. Uh, I will address it in the chat. Okay. All right. All right. In the meantime, let's move on to the next people who are ready to share their progress. All right. We have Basile on the queue. Who else? Yeah, of course, Pascal, you can go ahead. All right. Uh, hi, Pascal. Good morning. Hi. Uh, so yeah, I think we're all we're all doing the same. I'm I'm on a similar progress with Farnell. I am trying to find like an optimal way to store and retrieve it, and uh, it's not easy. So yeah, that's. That's where I'm at. I think that the week could probably be all about that. Uh, yeah, so that's my update. Thank you. All right, Priscilla, let's go next. Just to add a question, Pascaline. Uh, yep. Yep, well mentioned he might come uh on stand up today is he going to do that or 
I'm again who yeah Baba said we will do like a QA on on the stand-up today uh, on our last QA is he gonna come we have a QA that will be starting in the next 40 minutes right after the stand-up oh okay thank you yeah Yep, uh, let's continue, let's continue. Hello, hi, can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. we can hear you. Yes, okay, I'm back on my computer. So just to uh, to just comment on like uh, what everyone was saying. So my question is like, uh, everyone seemed to say they are like at the um, generation part and they are searching for models. So but i understand that uh, you had used your api keys and you had like a working rag before like and then you are just trying to improve it with always adding like a another model is that the case or are you just um i hope that's the case i mean like, yes manuel uh yeah i mean I, I have implemented a simple rag that can read the context yeah uh, and uh, i'm also trying the different open ai embeddings models yeah that works but uh, the answers are not really there yet that was what i was trying to okay so try. um uh, okay continue sorry no no i'm done all right so uh and you mentioned before that like uh, you are not getting the and you thought that the embedding is the issue and uh, you're not getting that like the good answers uh the point is that like uh, i mean um uh, you're, you're not doing something wrong but i'm just saying like um when when you were you face a problem like this you can you will start by analyzing your rag um fully so you can see like you can maybe just put a debug mode and then see how what are you getting what is the what is the documents that are, are getting retrieved yeah are they relevant really to the questions you're getting uh, you're having like your question you have you're passing your question to your query to the um to your rag so first the retriever will give you the, uh, the documents you can like see those are they relevant if they are not relevant or the relevant one is not the one that is ranked first you can see the problem is with the retriever and then you can look into that where is the problem is it you can improve it by um like there are several ways you can improve it you can improve the like the query itself uh, maybe expand the query or something uh, or uh, do a re-rank or like all these different method to to improve the retriever but you can also maybe you you are getting the re relevant uh, documents but it's the generation that is not working correctly getting the so yeah you have to look at exactly that so when you said the problem is the embedding you have to know or at least from the examples you try to see that the embedding is the issue or is the embedding is something that you can improve so yeah i'm just asking like what is your pro process what did you do uh, well, so uh, I'm using comedy for the vector database. So what I did was like trying to, you know, see the different chunk sizes. And after that, uh, I'm trying to do some questions to select the relevant context, I mean, chunks from that uh, chunk document by doing similar research with comedy. Uh, so, even the chunks are not really satisfactory, maybe that would be the issue. So as you said, maybe I can do re-ranking on the context that is selected and um, yeah, maybe, so I'm just doing two things at the moment, maybe that's the problem. As you said, maybe if I can go further and you know do the context retrieving part also, maybe I will get a better result. Um, I mean, the, what you're doing is the heart of the of the challenge, exactly. So you are supposed to try. You have like different. Just have your ideas of what to improve, and then try them one by one, or what you can. But what, when you said there were problems, the chunks that you are not getting are you're getting are not great. That means you have to fix the chunking. Uh, like, have you tried different methods of chunking, or? Um... Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm doing that. Exactly. 
I tried uh, paragraph chunking and also many type of character chunking also. And I tried to, you know, uh, trying different sizes of chunks that also helped. But so the issue is if I correct something, I don't know which one is giving me the better result. So the one thing that I did like this morning was trying out different embedding models. So that gave me different types of chunks, which is sort of a progress. But if so, what I'm saying is like if I choose a better embedding and also go back to you know trying out a new type of chunking. Yeah. That make it better or is it like you're done with one and you progress to the other one like that's sort of the dilemma yeah. i mean yeah okay so that's yeah so that's so that yeah this is something that you have to decide and you like have a strat some kind of a strategy to do to uh to like uh, to approach this but uh, a point that uh, maybe like um something that arnon said in the when they introduced the challenge the first day is that you can take when you're doing the chunking basically uh, or in general that that contracts the documents you're dealing with are not just general con they are not just general documents they are like they have a specific structure so when you're doing the chunking you can make use of that so they have like maybe they have sections they have a specific like uh, titling for different parts you can use that to chunk to chunk it so that it what the chunk you get is that makes sense in that in that way so it's you don't don't just try general approaches make, you can make for chunking you can make use of the structure of these specific kinds of documents yeah 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 uh, sorry for yeah uh, I, I believe that that's one thing we could do but the the data is not that structured uh, uh i I put a question on Slack, but no one gave back to me. Uh, the, the the section, I mean, the article like 2.01 is written like article two in Roman letter and in alpha, uh, I mean, in Arabic, it's a combination of those. So uh, I tried to use the regex to get some kind of pattern, but that didn't work. So how can we, uh, I, I, of... I, are you saying like that there are not really there are problems with the documents itself i haven't i didn't see your question i'm yes. sorry I missed it. I missed yes. your, I, i'm going to check that okay if you, so, if, if you check the the table of content like yeah. section point something and mm -hmm. if you go to that section it's not uh the the numbering is not right which means the 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 you, the regex will not get the 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 patterns correctly that, that's the problem so uh so i mean um okay you, there are not even i'm um, um, this is my, just a question because i haven't uh haven't checked this uh, can I share there are not, yeah can show you? sorry you can show me yes Okay, good. So this is the evaluation data set. Can you see my screen? Yes, we can see it. Yes. Yeah. So you see that this is the table of content. That's section 2.01, right? Mm -hmm. That's on page 14. So okay. if we go to page 14, uh, yeah, you see this one? Mm -hmm. It says section Roman number 1.02. So I see. Uh, if I use the, the other one, it will not get this section. Even in the question and answer, it's it, it, it maps with the table of content, but uh, for this one, uh, th this actually doesn't exist. There is no section yeah, 10 point uh, yeah, something. That's what I know. That's yeah. what I know. <laughs> yes, it doesn't if exist. You look at this one. So as Yabi said, this is uh, the question that, I mean, the answer from this context, right? Yeah. So to get that context, uh, I, I try to use this section 
which I refer back to the, the table of content and get the page number. Uh, then using page number, uh, Well, and just take the, the, the context from page 17 to the next section, which is page 19, that would be it. But the problem is this section doesn't match uh, with the section uh, in the document. I see, that, I see. So, and, and you cannot use words like section itself to section it, right? Uh, because this will be inside the different clauses, I suppose. At some point, have you checked that? No, you, using regex, you can you can form the pattern to get. Uh, for example, when you find this section, yeah. which you pass the page number, it will get the page number, but it couldn't get this section. But if you change this to no. like uh, two point no. something, you can mm -hmm. get this the whole content as uh, a context, and then you can use that to answer that that question. That was my strategy, but yeah. Yeah, so, uh, so I have a couple of questions here. Maybe I don't get exactly what you what you were trying to do. So uh, there is a problem with uh, chunking, right? And I was saying no. that you would, yeah. Uh -huh. No, I, I don't have any problem with the chunking. Yeah, OK. Uh, the but chunking, uh, what, the page, it works. So what are you trying to do? Are you trying to refer to the section exactly mm -hmm. when your answer? Uh, for the uh, ground truth. Yes. Uh, and also, I, I was thinking to uh, train it a bit with the question and answer. Yeah. Uh, I generate question and answers from this document using GPT-4. Uh, okay. And it, it, it gives me the, the, the question and answers, right? All right, so I can, yeah. I can use that uh, as a ground truth and evaluate the, the, the rag. That that will work. But oh, we are okay. asked to uh, evaluate the, the rag using this Q and A, yeah. right? Yeah. The question and answer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This. Uh, yeah. So what? What? So 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 you're saying that you don't have a problem with the chunking, and you don't have a problem with generating the questions, but so what is the, the, this problem with the numbering in the sections yeah. what does it, the, what 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 problems is it causing for you exactly which part are you like having issue with for evaluating the ground truths uh, using okay, the ground truths why why is it causing a problem there I uh, because it. we need we need uh, the the context for that uh, ah okay I'm not sure. Yeah, so I, I understand. I, I know. I know. I get it. Yes. So, but yeah. So this is. A, so can you for uh, just for fun? Oh. Uh, can you tell us your strategy to to chunk the document? Like, how did you do it? You mean my my chunking yeah. or yes. yeah yeah exactly what like what is how did you do the oh. chunking of this okay. document? So I I I used the recursive character uh, okay. text. Glitter, and I didn't use that directly. Uh, what I uh, did was I tried to use the sentence transform uh, yeah. uh, embeddings. So uh, I, I convert them so that they can fit in the window of that embedding. OK. Right? Yes. And then I used that uh, with the Chroma DB. Uh, I save it locally. And then yeah. uh, for the retrieval part, still I'm using the uh, OpenAI. OK, great. So uh, did you use in, in your recursive um, uh, chunking, did you use the structure of, this, of, the, of the document in, in any way? Or did you just do it on like, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, new lines? And... Uh, let me just show you. I think that okay. would be easier. Yes, so. Okay. Yeah. Uh, not that spicy. So here is here is my uh, context mm -hmm. data, right? All right. So uh, I convert it to PDF. That's because I have a problem with the 
uh, Word, the Microsoft yeah. Word stuff. Right. So from that, I get the texts. I strip them. Mm -hmm. And if the right. texts are in it, I, I didn't include uh, it in the uh, context. Yeah. All right. So after uh, I use the recursive character text splitter using these separators and then uh, isolate the text. Okay. Right. And so that. All right. So, yeah, this is just like on new line. And then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then uh, I use uh, this uh, token text splitter mm -hmm. uh, by specifying this and this. Uh, th this actually has uh, a window size of 347. So yeah. just to be yeah. safe, oh, yeah. I use yes. that. Yes. Yeah, and then using this, uh, I, I split them again right. the, the, so that this, the, the, the as Deleted text would fit into this uh, right. embedding. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And then Good. I, I define my embedding. Uh, let me come here. Yeah. So I used that embedding function, which is sorry, I was it, it, it's kind of messy. It was supposed to be this one. Yeah. Don't worry. Okay. Um. Yeah, so that that's that's collection. I created mm -hmm. a collection name. Uh, it, it it works. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you added that into the this is, yeah. database. So okay. I gave the a query directly, right? Mm -hmm. We are not using any, any LLM here. We, we I just need to query this in that you context. Want to the LLM to, uh, yeah. The okay. the thing, yes. Yes, exactly. That is good, so we can see how it works, right? Yeah. So the, even the first context is the 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 that what I need. I mean, for the question. Right. Uh, good. Yeah. And then I define the rag. This is just for the the experimentation part. All right. And in this case, I use good. the good. OpenAI. Chat. Yeah. You are you're using OpenAI for this part. Okay, that's yes. that's very yeah. good. Um, yeah. And it's nice to just check uh, like the retriever by itself to see like the documents you're getting. That's a good thing. Uh, so as for for you in your in your experiment, sorry if, if I'm asking you about your job, what you did now, but yeah, to see is for for you, you think the chunking you have you have works fine, like you yes. get you like okay. Uh, have you followed this funnel? I'm sorry because Fanuel was asking, or like he was saying that he has a problem with uh, with uh, chunking, maybe or like the embedding he's using there. Um, I'm just saying I was saying that maybe the, in the chunking we could use the structure of the document, but like um, um, you're not making particular yeah, yeah is not making particular use of that and it works. Um, I don't know; it might not be necessary. It might be something that can be like an even more an improvement to, to add later, but I don't know. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was just trying. Thank you, yeah, for showing us your work. And yeah, so maybe I don't know if it was helpful for anyone. So there were people who were asked who wanted to ask questions. Yeah. So uh, sorry, I, I you were asking a, a question about checking the context yes with the with the questions um sorry with the data with the data set that we have so uh, um i don't know uh, the data definitely has problems itself and i think that um, i don't know we should maybe ask uh, a question that is the rag we are uh, you are uh, uh, designing is it supposed to deal with like dirty data like this uh, that data that have problem or should there be like a data cleaning process before even like adding it to it? Like, is this rack supposed to take the contracts with a particular form? Um, yeah, but there are definitely problems with the data set that is, can, you cannot fix it anyway, because for example, there is this question that the answer is coming from a section that is not there in the document we have. So you cannot really answer that. You cannot actually deal with this question. You have to delete it from your, from your testing data set because it's not um, 
it's not relevant uh, for us. Um, the problem with the with the document itself, maybe there should be like a, a data. What I'm saying, data cleaning is not just like data cleaning that you can just do automatically. Maybe there is something that needs to be done done manually in some way. I don't know. I'm not sure. This is something like I actually don't know the question uh, answer to this. Maybe you can ask Kevable about it. Like, is the rack supposed to deal with con with documents that are like messy? And like we have to add like some kind of cleaning beforehand before including the data in our like uh, big databases, or uh, um, is this uh, an issue with the data set we have right now? And it should like we have to design it for like a better. I don't know if I'm rambling. <laughs> so I, if my question makes sense. Anyway, um, I don't know if like I haven't answered your your question, Ayaya. So I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, someone uh, wanted to... I, was, I was disconnected. Uh, anyway, the, it, it's that the... I can't hear you. The question that I sent on Slack, and then maybe you. I think. Yeah, let me see. Problem. All right, so I will I will look at that question. And meanwhile, if anyone has anything else, uh, please go ahead. Well, all right. Tina, I believe we can continue for now. Uh, sorry. Um, I think if not, there is no one. Yeah, it was like uh, this discussion. I'm reading the question that uh, I had in Slack. I didn't see it before. Did someone try to create an evaluation that I said the ground truth? I have tried to get the context using the context section provided in the Q&A document, but the section numbering in the contract and the QA are inconsistent. For example, section 2.07 in the QA is 11, is 1, 1, it's like 2 in Roman, I think. Uh, 07 in the contract document for Q&A are able to parse it. Um, and get the file. However, I failed to get the contents from the contact document using the reference section given in the Q and A. I would appreciate if anyone have any idea on this. Okay, so is all is the problem is always that the the numbering is just from from uh, numbers to like Arabic numbers to and Roman numbers because you can't have a, a translation for that. Right? It's simple. I mean, you can look for a section either um, if it's like two uh, or a two in, in Romani, in, in Ro Roman numbers. So it's a number number numbering. So is it always like that? Or is it like the numbering is different or is it wrong? Is that uh, completely? So, so section three is mapped to section four. Or is it just num section three here is called three and there is called uh, in the Romani numbering? That's like, a, because if it's, if it's the later case, you can actually deal with that. But if it's wrong, then you cannot actually, you cannot, you cannot use it at all. So there's a question where there is a section 10.01, which doesn't exist at all in, in, the, in, the, in the data set, in the, in the document itself. And in that case, you have to drop this question because you cannot actually evaluate, you cannot use it. But if uh, like, uh, and of course you can also just use the data set if the sections doesn't make sense, the sections that are written, but the question and answer actually makes sense. You can actually just use the question and answer to at least evaluate the, uh, the overall rack. If you get the section and somehow you manage to translate this section to the section there in the document, uh, you can actually translate it to the, to the context. You don't need to exactly like get your rack to get the section number, but you can just translate, work on the evaluation data set, look at the section, 
number, get it from the document. You just write a script to get the, the context for you from this from this numbering or this name. And then uh, just uh, check also the retriever part. If you manage to do that, you can take the retriever part. If you don't manage to translate your sections, you, you just like just use your question and answer as like to evaluate the whole rack. Um, does that make sense, Yaya? Yes, yes, it does. Actually, uh, you gave me a good uh, approach. So, uh, if I get, I mean, the, the 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 inconsistency is the the article number. So, if if it's section two point zero seven, uh, I can map that from uh, Arabic to Roman, and then get the 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 context. I think that. That might work. Thank you. Okay, good. Yeah. Great. So, um, is anyone else have a question or something to share? Uh, just an idea, because like, uh, also we have a Q and A in like, like seventeen minutes. So, you can also ask there if you want. Uh, I will give it to you back to you, Pastor, and I have to go for a bit. So I'm going to leave. Okay, Alexander. My question is related to data, but uh, not related uh, to question like uh, Yaya's. Uh, before that, I don't know why what that data type the, the data format is affect the rugs and I haven't I haven't seen uh, such type of knowledge before uh, but I am worried about the data structure and I, when I see details the data uh, to understand it uh, I haven't get insight but but even though I have, when I prepare context uh, for the LLA, I only uh, take the, the whole uh, the data and test it manually. I remove the things that are uh, ambiguous for LLM manually. Uh, so if you have a, a, a do anything on that data, or may you add good news for the data, uh, please provide me. But, but uh, after EIS question, I try to understand the other uh, dirtiness of the data and try and organize the question again in the QA. If you had something, please. Uh, if not, uh, I will ask more on the QA in the session. Do you okay. understand me, my question? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, not maybe not completely. Uh, so you're saying that you are dealing with the issues of, of the data part of it, and you're, you're dealing with it manually, right? Yeah, exactly. Oh, exactly. Okay, so um, which, like, at what part? Uh, so when you are preparing, did you, like, kind of um, modify the evaluation data set, like the questions and answers? Or yeah. is the contract itself? Okay. You have the yeah, contract. For, for example, uh -huh. tell me. The, okay. Uh, for example, the one that I face problem is uh, that raised uh, one thing. Uh, for this section, the, the, the answer is available on this section, but when I paste uh, for, uh, I, I classify the system in the user when I, I to provide. Uh, the, the system works according to this. When uh, when I see the data, there there is no any answer. Uh, I will show you the on the stand up the the next Q and A session. What I try to. 
Okay, so if you can show us later, that's maybe it will be better to see like what you're doing exactly, and then we can um, maybe our role can ask answer you. Um, okay, that's fine. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. it is okay. All right. So. Uh, yeah, so back to you, Vaseline. Um, All go. right. Uh, thanks, Amtina, for the conversation. So I'm thinking that since we are all already 12 minutes to, to the Q&A, then we can prepare ourselves to join the Q&A and then uh, pause the stand-up from here for now. Yep. Uh, it's going to be starting in 12 minutes, so let's ensure that we join again on time. All right, have a good day, everyone. And also an announcement we did make yesterday. Uh, the trainee-led session is going to be led by Ayaya and Abdulahmid Musa. So super looking forward to it, guys. We are excited to learn from you today. Big time. So, yep. Uh, all right. Yeah, I can see the reaction. Thank you so much for, for sharing them, Big Up. Okay, have a great day.